Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro and welcome back to Mr. Weasel Art and today we're gonna explore some basic drawing techniques. So what we're gonna see today is how to hold your uh, drawing tool, uh, in this case I'm gonna use a pencil, and also uh, the movements that you can do using your arms so you can draw more freely. And just a quick reminder before uh, starting the video is that you can have your own drawing techniques and what I'm presenting here is just uh, the fundamental idea behind uh, the drawing techniques. So remember to use uh, whatever suits you better. So now let's start the video, let's go! Alright, so the first grip that I want to talk about uh, is this one. Let me see if I can get some focus here. It's the same one that we use when we are uh, writing. And you can see that my fingers are actually uh, close to the tip of the, the pencil. And this actually allows me to apply uh, pressure uh, easily. So I can, uh, using this grip, I can uh, draw darker lines and also make uh, lots of details on my drawing. So it's really good for uh, darker lines and details and refinement. Okay, uh, the next grip. Uh, the next grip is uh, this one here. It's not actually the, uh, the way I'm holding the pencil, if I'm holding it uh, like this or uh, like this. The thing is that I'm holding the pencil uh, not close uh, to the tip, but actually at, I'm holding it at the bottom or closer to the bottom. When you do this, uh, you can create lighter lines uh, on your drawings. So what it means is you can uh, create sketches that you can erase later or make some uh, lighter details that depends on what you're doing actually. So the closer you are to the bottom of your pencil or your tool, uh, less pressure you you're going to apply to the paper or the media where you're drawing so this is really good for sketching and lighter lines okay and the last grip is this one right here so you can see that my index finger is close to the tip of the pencil and the pencil is uh, it touched it touches my hand right here in not in the middle but here in this uh, uh, cushions of, of the hand and this grip is really good when you are uh, drawing on an easel uh, like this one so the position of your arm is is a lot better when you're using this grip and one thing that I forgot to mention ab about the previous grip which is this one and something that it has in common with th uh, this grip right here is that you can here you can use uh, the side of the tip of the pencil to draw something like this you can use draw using the side of the tip like this and the same applies to this grip right here you don't actually are drawing like this on a paper you're drawing with the side of the tip uh, on a paper so this grip the last one allows you to uh, create lighter lines because you don't apply lots of pressure and you just touch the tip um, using its side and also darker lines because you can do something more more like this not directly <laughs> uh, like this but you can do something uh, with apply more uh, apply more pressure with your index finger and also uh, curve your hand a little bit so you can create uh, darker lines too so and the first grip that uh, I showed you it uh, actually is closer to something more uh, sometimes it's closer to center of uh, uh, more vertical than the second grip which is like this and the third one is really good because you can control uh, uh, it a, a lot better I think especially when you're using an easel you can use it on a paper uh, on a desk too but I'm I'm not used to doing that so that's it these are the three uh, different grips and now let's talk a little bit more about the movements of the arm okay now talking a little bit about the movements of the arm when drawing so 
The thing is, when you use your wrist to draw, you actually don't have much amplitude of, of your movements. So, if you want to draw a straight line or a circle using your wrist, it's actually a lot more difficult to do that than using your whole arm. And the thing is, that the wrist movement is kind of precise in a small area. So if I want to if I want to create some detailing on my drawing with uh, some contrast which needs uh, darker lines, I will do something like this. I'm gonna use this grip and I'm gonna use my wrist movement and maybe some of my arm right here. And if I want to shade uh, lightly in a small area, I would use this grip and also my wrist movement, something like this. But if I want to draw uh, shapes uh, with better precision, for example, the circle to represent the uh, the head of a character, uh, I would actually uh, use my whole arm, using my shoulder muscles. So if I'm on a paper, drawing on a paper, uh, which is on a desk, I would use this grip for sketching and use my arm movement like this. If I'm drawing on an easel like this one, I would stand my arm, uh, so extend my arm, sorry, and use movements like this. I would build up. Uh, one thing which is interesting about this uh, technique is that you can always build up some uh, some some movement, uh, some moment, and then you can get close to the paper and start uh, drawing uh, the lines. You can also do that uh, not just on an easel, but, but also on a paper uh, on a desk, for example. You can build up some movement with your arm and then touch uh, really lightly uh, the, the side of the tip of your pencil on the paper and start sketching. And you'll see that with a little bit of practice, you'll, you'll get a lot better soon. So now let's jump to the easel so I can uh, give you an example. Let's go! Alright, so I hope this video was helpful or at least interesting. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions or questions, you can comment uh, down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, leave a like. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at mr.weasel.art 
and you can also watch my older videos if you like this one so that's it for today see you next time bye